Hi guys, my name is Joy and welcome back to Go Green Kitchen. Today we'll be making a vegan chocolate cake and this recipe is inspired by Jane Hornby from BBC Good Food and you guys can find her recipe in the description down below. So first, we're going to use one ripe avocado and scoop it out into a food processor or you can also put it in a bowl and use an electric mixer to blend it later. Here I'm using avocado to replace butter because we're going vegan and avocado's creamy texture can replace the texture of butter. And I'm also using a monk fruit sugar which is which has only zero calories to make this recipe more healthy. Then we're going to add in 300 grams of sugar. You can use any kinds of sugar, but I'm using the zero calorie monk fruit sweetener. And then we're gonna blend it together, or you can use an electric mixer to blend it better. Now we will add in the 350 grams of flour. To mix it better, you can put in half first and then blend in the second half. Now we will add in the cocoa powder and the plant-based milk into the mixture. For the milk, you can use any kind, soy, almond, or oat milk are all fine. Here I'm using oat milk, and then now we're gonna blend everything together again. And here we also add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Please remember that baking powder and baking soda are two different things, but both of them will make the cake to have the fluffy texture we want. Again, now we're gonna blend everything together and make sure everything is smooth and well blended. Now we add in the vegetable oil and blend everything together. You can use any kinds of vegetable oil, but do not use olive oil because the taste of olives are too strong and it will ruin the taste of chocolate, the chocolate cocoa powder. After everything is blended smoothly together, we will pour the mixture into an 8 inch tin and make sure there are no bubbles in the mixture. Then we will bake it at 160 Celsius in the oven for about 15 minutes. Once the cake is ready and cooled down, you can take it out of the tin and decorate it with powdered sugar or anything you would like. So I decorated it with powdered sugar. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and make sure to like or subscribe to wait for more videos to come out and the link for this recipe card will also be down in the description below.